Yeah, yeah, we up here, man. We up here, man. Probably gonna slide over a little bit, though. Probably about here. Yeah, yeah. We just want to start off by saying, call her all your hope. For her sim, for your house. For her sim, the cock and dust. Give her honors to our apostles and elders of the great millstone. Do rule well and by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim. I walk this out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. So be how about you know what's I to the best of their ability. It's Josh and on. And we coming, like we back out here again, man. To bring out these scriptures to let our people know you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, that you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You are not these slave names that your captors gave you. And hey, hey, people starting to wake up to this truth too, man. I was just looking at, I had seen it before. But the brothers, um, they had, um, you know, the rapper with Fat Joe and um, Cool G Rap. And, um, you know, Fat Joe, you got that, that show. And Fat Joe was inter interviewing Cool G Rap. And they were talking about Nick Cannon. But he was like, yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I know about that. He like, if you dig deep, go. So all these rappers, all these celebrities, all these football players, basketball players, don't think that they don't know who they are. They, like, hey, this truth is, 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 is flowing throughout the four corners of the earth, man, like crazy, man. See, that's what the so-called white man doesn't want. He doesn't want you to know that you're a Hebrew Israelite. He wants you to continue on saying that you're a black, that you're Hispanic, or that you're Native American and all these different names. You see what I'm saying? But we are the Hebrew Israelites. That's our biblical nationality. We're not black people. We're not African Americans. And they know who we are. You see, we're living in these last days where the Lord is waking up the children of Israel and these so-called white people are about, they're getting busy, man. They're getting busy. Trust me when I tell you they know that the storm is brewing for their asses, man, once, so, once the children of Israel, it's prophetic. The elite know. See, the, the, the so-called white man, the elite that's on the top, the ones that's sitting back, that's got the finest of all things that you don't see. He's in the backdrop running every damn thing. They know what's going on. Now, there's a few of these lower level so-called white people they know because they've been seeing the Hebrew Israelites too. The brothers is out on the highways and byways throughout the world right now throughout the world and pretty much every state in America, this camp's going in, in, in all the major cities. They be popping up on my phone. I can't even keep up with everybody. I can't keep up with all these camps. Throughout the week, I try and catch up with stuff. You know what I'm saying? As far as their camps, but man, you can't keep up with all these camps, man. Brothers is going live right now throughout the four corners of the earth to try and wake you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans up. And the elect of Israel. Now, ongoing thing that's been going on this week. Well, first off, let me say that the true name of the Father is Yahweh. That's the true name of our Father, which, you know, people call him the Most High. But his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. Yah meaning he, Hawa meaning the, um, he exists or the existing one. That's his, that's his name. That's what it means. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. That's important to know. Because that's the name that we're going to have to call on when everything gets messy out here, man. You out here calling on white Jesus, which is an idol that they beat over our head and whipped into us. You calling on that white guy, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because that's idol worship. The Lord is not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. You got to get rid of that, that, that white Jesus Christianity. Hey, these Christians losing it, too. You're starting to see a lot more Christians online that's talking about the Hebrew Israelites. Now they're actually, they're trying to teach like the Hebrew Israelites. They're not going to come out on these highways and byways, though. <laughs> that, that, but they'll sit in their church, they'll have a reader, and they, they be going through the blue letter. They be going into the, um, you know, the etymology of words and stuff. Now, they never used to do that stuff before. They wasn't talking about Esau before, which is the biblical name for the so-called white man. Now they're trying their hardest, man, to tell us that the so-called white man is not Esau and that we're not even Israelites. We're just some Negroes. They can't tell you who we really are, though. They just want you to just situate and believe that you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. They want you to fall your ass back to sleep, man. But that, that's the reason why we're out here, though. We're out here to wake our, well, the elect of Israel. There's been a lot going on with, um, you know, the brothers been going, it's this one guy, I can't think of the guy's name, but he been um, talking about, like, why y'all keep talking about that mark of the beast? Why y'all keep talking about that chip? All we have to do is keep the, keep the commandments. Nah, man, it don't work like that, man. You can't be justified by that law. And, 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 and you trying to be justified by just the law, that's the reason why the Lord came. He came because we couldn't keep the all, all the law, man. He came because we couldn't keep it perfect. 
You see what I'm saying? Well, let me see. Uh, let me go up into this real quick. It's a lot. And bro. That goes off into that. Um... Let's go into Romans three. Uh, let's go into Romans three. We can start at like verse twenty. Because it's important to know. Now, we, we do try and keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. But let's say, for instance, one law that we can't keep is that we go down to Jerusalem three times a year, you know. But we, we're not in Jerusalem. We can't get to Jerusalem, man. We can't go and, 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 and sacrifice. You, you, you're you not going to be out here sacrificing no animals, man. So Jake need to cut that shit out, man. The laws, the statutes, the commandments. That's what they always screaming. You got the one group that's out here, they're basically telling you that, that that's the way to salvation, and it's not. Because saying that, it's like saying, well, we didn't need you, Lord. We didn't need our Lord, our shot to come. Yeah, we, we got it. But Jake was going off so damn bad back in the Old Testament in the ancient days, like, we clearly needed a Savior, man. But yeah, let's start at verse 20, y'all. Romans, verse 3. 3, verse 20. Therefore, by the deeds, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. See? There's no, by the deeds of the law, you can't be justified in the sight of Yahweh. Go ahead, huh? For by the law is the knowledge of sin. See that? By the law, there's the knowledge of sin. We needed our Lord that one, he was the one time last pure sacrifice, man. That blood that was shed. That was the sacrifice of all sacrifices. We didn't need to go back into the temple, you know what I'm saying, to sacrifice no animals, man. You know? But you even got, you know, and, and you and these Hebrew Israelites that's talking that keep the laws, the statutes and commandments, they can't do that. They're not gonna do that. Now you do have some of them, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll get a whole lamb for the Passover and have somebody butcher it, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and you know, because they have larger camps. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the way that we kept it, we, we can't keep that, that those things like how we kept it, man, back in the Old Testament, man, or the New Testament. We're, 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 we're in captivity. Shit, like how the hell we going, you know? How you going to keep, you can't keep the law of stoning somebody, man, to death for certain laws, man. We even had a law where if a woman, say two men were fighting, and, and one of the wives got into it and grabbed the man by his testicles, they cut her goddamn hand off. That was the law. You can't keep that law. Try cutting off a bitch hand in, in, a, in Babylon the Great. She can grab your scrotum, squeeze everything out of your shit. And ain't nothing gonna happen to her. You know, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You got the laws of whoredom. You think these with these women running around here like they running around out here was would have been able to do that back in the ancient of days, man? Come on, man. Get out of here, man. There's a law for badass children, for stubborn ass children, man, that, that, that would get stoned to death. The parents basically were basically trying to tell him what's up. If he didn't listen to the parents, they basically went to the elders. He wouldn't listen to the elders. They, hey, they bring his ass out to the city, and all the people in the city would stone his ass, man. And that was to purge the evil out of um, Israel. You think we can do something like that now? I mean, some examples need to be made, <laughs> but, but, but hey, y'all about shit, y'all was He don't need us to do none of that because he'll knock your ass off anyway. The Lord, he doesn't need us to do anything, you know, as far as nothing like that. When when these kids get out of hand, the Lord, uh, that's why you're seeing so many deaths of, of, of children, man. Basically, or, or, or young, young men, young, young people, man. It's just like you had, um, you know, the, 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 the the four Jake that, that got killed on the freeway the other day. You know what I'm saying? They don't take nothing for the Lord to, 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 to make Jake put a spirit on his ass, make him hit the gas. You on the freeway doing a buck. They don't know if they had drugs or, or alcohol in the system, but probably did. You know? None of them in the car got sense enough to say, hey, slow down. They probably egging him on with some old wicked ass music in the background. 
And all of them got ejected from the fucking vehicle, man. Bro, two, of them. two of them got ejected. I, I think it said all four of them. Either way, and that's a bad way to go. At, at 100 miles an hour, can you imagine Leaf just flying? Shit, my brother can tell you about somebody hitting him on his bike. If he didn't, you know, they ran into the back of him on his bike. And he was airborne, man. Can you imagine that at, at, at 100 miles an hour? Come on, bro. The Lord judged them, though, man. And then you know, the, these, um, the, the, the three girls down there in the high school and shit, now they waiting on graduation. They couldn't wait till after graduation to go somewhere and get drunk and get high. They get high before the graduation. Two of them overdosed at the school. The other one got to be transported to the hospital. Now they trying to um, press charges on the other teenager that had the damn drug. What kind of drugs are you taking that, that you just... But that's the Lord judging these people, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. That's why the Lord is using these drugs. Well, hey, look, man. Don't think... Let's go to Deuteronomy 32 and 39, man. Because I was reading in the book of Revelation just before I left the house, man. And, 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 and see, people think that the Lord is coming to play games with them. The Lord is coming to just pick your little babies up, kiss their cheek. Oh, they're so cute, bless it. Look, man, the Lord is coming back to destroy people, man. That's what people are not getting. And that's what you get from white Jesus Christianity, man. Go ahead, Hop. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with you. See that? I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See that? The Lord is telling you straight up, he's the, he's the one that kills and makes alive. So, so but what, what, the, what the white Jesus Christian church will teach you is that Satan is just out here running rampant, killing off whoever he wants to kill off, man. They're not telling you that Satan is actually a son of God. That Satan is actually, in, the Lord is in control of his actions, man. It's, Satan doesn't have free will to run around out here and kill no damn body. Satan gives his, his instructions from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he goes forth, man. Matter of fact, let's get um the book of Sirach, uh, uh, 30, 39 and 28. Yeah, Ecclesiasticus, yup. Yeah. 39 and 28. We're gonna see, man, because these Christians are not telling the truth about how the Lord gets down, man. They, they just want to give you the soft side of the Lord, man. You know, they want because our people don't want to, they want to hear smooth words. Jake don't want to hear nothing about, oh, I got to correct myself. You know, I, 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 oh, I got to straighten up. Jake don't want no order. Jake look at order like a damn handicap, man. Jake don't want nothing to do with righteousness, man. If it don't have to do with righteousness, then Jake don't want no parts of it, man. Our people are wicked to the core. That's why the scripture talks about we our people are stiff necked, hard hearted ass people, man. We in this captivity getting our asses whooped to the bone right now, and Jake still won't straighten up. That's the reason why the Lord is just like, you know what? The whole head is sick. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. The whole head is sick. I'm just gonna knock two thirds of the asses off, man. Because Jake only gonna learn when it's judgment. Go ahead, I can hear. Slide. So up. Verse 39, I mean 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the work wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits to appease his wrath, man. And we've seen some, hey, it's been, hey, the Lord, the Lord gets down. Just change, hey, when you look at, when you look at the news, man, and you see how people die, when you, uh, man, the Lord can use anything, man, to knock you off, bro. That's why our people need a healthy fear of your how about Shimmy, I was shy, man. But our people don't have that. And it's going to take destruction for them, to, for them to really get it. Then that's when they're going to go to crying and screaming and shit. And it's going to be too late. That's like the, uh, what's that, uh, the police officer? I don't know, I think it was out in Cali or whatever. But anyway, a damn swarm of bees. Mm -hmm. Tag his ass up, bro. 
and like it's a cloud of beads. He jumped out of the car. Matter of fact, the beads was on him so cold, he had to tell him, he was trying to get back into the squad car, but he was telling the, uh, his, his partner to just go, just get away. Because if he opened the door, they were gonna swarm in there and tag his ass up too. He out there falling. Then once he hit the ground, they was just peek, 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 peek. They was picking him up. He fell flat on his face, his fucking face all bloody. The Lord can use insects, man, to knock you off, bro. And then it was a um a guy, matter of fact, it was a Northern Kingdom. He seen the shit on the news and drove over to the place because he was a beekeeper. He understood bees. Because that's what that was his occupation, that's what he done. He he rolls over there, you can see him because they was they had the aerial view, you know, from the helicopter. And he jumped out of the van, he puts on the bee suit. But what he said, he was like, I don't know, I've never seen bees so angry. He said these bees shouldn't be acting like this. You know who put the spirit on those bees? The Lord. And how about Shimmy I was shy, man? You have to realize the plagues of Egypt, man. So when you go up and when, when, when you Christians are talking about how the Lord loves everybody, the Lord really done a number on them damn Egyptians, man. Don't think the Egyptians don't have the history of the Israelites and their God, man, Yahweh. And they know who it is. They know what it is. Go ahead, I. Fire, hell, and famine, and death. All these were created for vengeance. These are just a few things that were created for vengeance, man. I was just watching the news. They got the, uh, the big-ass flood over in Italy, man. That big-ass flood, they got a flood in India. Just rolling through, just wiping everything away. They don't have no crops now. Now they about to go into a full force famine damn near. And that one in Italy, they just couldn't believe it. You know, Italy is one of those, you know, nice, serene places. They go, you know, and, and you can, tourism is out of it, out of there for the summer. Nobody going there to tour. Mud and shit. Oh, bro, I'm looking like, hey, the Lord gets down, man. And he uses weather. He, use, he can use insects. Weather, man, the Lord is in control of every element that's out here, man. He can use it to destroy you, man. Go ahead, I. Teeth of the wild beasts. Teeth of the wild beasts. Why you been hearing so much about people getting mauled up by their... People been getting mauled up by their own pet. Their own dog. Been living in the house with them for 10 years. Damn dogs been mauling up the baby. Grandmama. Big mama. You see? Go ahead, I. And scorpions. And serp, I mean, and scorpions, serpents, and sword, punishing the wicked to death, to destruction. See, the Lord used the sword, and, and today that modern day sword is that gun. That gun, man. This so-called white man, this man is expert at weapons, man. This man, this man, done weaponized the so-called black woman against the so-called black man. He's an expert weapon maker, right? I was watching the news yesterday. Actually, I done a little quick lesson on it. How the how the curses are reversing on, on Esau Edom. Damn old ass Edomite lady and shit. She was 95 years old, man. A little bitty frail ass old white lady, man. She's about, I think they said she was like 95 pounds or some shit. I don't know. Like we did when we came out of Egypt, we gonna have them. We are gonna go into something. Curse gonna come off of us. We gonna go on all of them. But but that awake, but we're in the awakening of it, and and, and, and see what the, these things are gonna start to happen to them because it's gonna be just like the plagues of Egypt. Because the Lord said He will bless those that bless us. They're not blessing us. He's gonna curse those that curse us. And no, that's that that's that's happening. That's gonna happen. You see what I'm saying? I get what you're saying though, because it, oh, it's gonna be some terrible shit when we really come into our power. When we really come up, and man, oh, it's gonna be, man, oh man. You couldn't give me a uh, man, you couldn't give me the entire universe, man, to be a Edomite in those days. Oh hell no. But like I said though, back in the days, you went out the day, they 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 came in and they tasered that old ass lady, man, knocked her out. <laughs> For real. You know? But supposedly she had, she had a butcher knife. But normally, we've seen Esau talk down to the so-called white man, and he's pointing a gun at him. Jake can be out here with his hands up and get shot. And they was all up in arms, how could this possibly happen? <laughs> right now, how could this possibly happen? Go ahead, Doc. They, they shall rejoice in his commandment. 
and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come they shall not transgress this word see those spirit are not going to transgress the words of Yehovah Hashim Yahushua they're not going to transgress his word man those spirits get that order it says that they rejoice in getting a commandment from the Lord to go and knock somebody off man those spirits are not contending with the Lord like, oh, when Lord, she's a pregnant lady. No, man. They get, they rejoice, and they go forth, and they do what the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said to do, man. There's a situation where, um, you know, where a hob got set up, where the Lord set a hob up. See, people don't understand that the Lord deals with the left hand and the right hand, man. He's a complete balanced power. Matter of fact, let's get a... Uh, Proverbs um, chapter 11. See, sometimes we have to bring out the true nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because our people don't have no fear because the Christian church that told them that you're saved by grace, you don't have to do anything, just believe in the name of Jesus and everything is going to be all right. That's going to get a lot of our people destroyed, man. We have to come out and show the true nature of our Father and the true nature of our, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. We have to show that. You got to get out of your, man, you, hey, you, you need to be scared as shit of the Lord. Take them, just get up, man, and just go about their day. They ain't thinking about nothing, man. They don't think about the Lord whatsoever, man. Go ahead, I. Proverbs, verse 11. I mean, 11, verse 1. A false balance is a, a abomination to the Lord, but a just right is his delight. See, a just weight is his delight. Uh, uh, the Lord is balanced, man. You can't have night without day. You can't have good without evil. You see, you can't have um, peace without, you know, um, um, chaos, basically. You can't have positive without negative. You can't have a male without a female. The Lord is balanced, man. So he created good. He created evil, man. He created a wicked people. He created a righteous people. You see what I'm saying? So the Lord is, it, it has a healthy balance. So what I'm saying is the same way that he will show you long suffering, he'll show you patience. He'll, hey, that, that pay, hey, he can reverse that and, and, and knock your ass off. For real. The Lord, we just read Deuteronomy 32 and 39 that he kills and makes alive. He wounds, he heals. And those are two and twos. Matter of fact, let's go back to the Apocrypha. Let's get to Rock 33 and 15. And we have to show these things, man, because Jake needs to know. Because a lot of these scriptures that comes out, Jake never heard them before. Oh, yeah, um, maybe probably can even get 13. 13. Yeah, start at 13. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. 33, verse 13. As the clay is in the water's end, to fasten, to fa to fasten it at, at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like of him him best. See, so the Lord, as you can see, the Lord, he he's the potter. He's in control of the clay. He's in control of how things are made. He's in control of how you came out. The Lord is in control if a person comes out deaf, blind, or any of that stuff, man. As a matter of fact. Where you at, huh? Let me grab, um... Uh... Your Exodus chapter 4, verse 11. And Yahweh said unto him, and he's talking to Moses here, because Moses was having a, you know, when the Lord was telling him to go in and, and, and speak with uh, Pharaoh, you know, Moses was talking about his speech, but it says, and Yahweh said unto him, who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seen, or the blind, 
have not I the Lord? See that? So the Lord is in control of how people come out. You see? Go ahead, though. I we'll go back into that. Verse 14. Good is set against evil, and life against death. See? So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. Yep. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. See that? So the Lord, he created everything in twos, one against another. That's why we were saying he created male, female, up, down, wet, dry, calm, erratic, you know. Everything that you can pretty much name, it has an opposite to it. The Lord is uh, 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 even balanced. Matter of fact, let's get um, Isaiah 45 and 7. So we have to know the true nature of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. These things are not being taught in the church. They're just telling you that the Lord loves, 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 he loves you. He loves everybody. He loves everything. Don't worry about it. You can do what you want to do. You can be a damn demon. He loves you. But that's not true. That's not scriptural, man. That's the reason why the Christians are the most bugged out fucking people on the planet. The whole entire jail population damn near will tell you that they're Christians, man. They've them committed the most heinous crimes all while, while being a Christian under the name of white Jesus, man. Go ahead, though. I Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. See that? That's a two and two matchup right there. He created peace, he created evil. You see? So, the Christian church is not teaching that to our people. That's why I'm telling you, our people don't have no fear of Yahweh at all. Because you'll see people come out on the highway and they'll be like, I never heard those scriptures before. What is that? They'll actually ask you, what Bible are you reading? Because they've never heard these scriptures come out before. What Bible is that? Or oh, it's the KJV. The same Bible that you got on the winter, you know, and, and on the dashboard of your damn car, spread open on Psalm 23. Same Bible that's been popping up got on the coffee table, you know, at the crib. That same Bible, but they're not hearing these particular scriptures come out, man. And that's why we, we was talking about the two and two. Matter of fact, let's, uh, what is that, uh, 2 Kings? Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Might be first king, but first king twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, first king twenty-two and nineteen. Let's start there. Op. Because when I seen those brothers, they was having camp down in Orlando, the GMS Orlando camp. And there was a lady, she was out there, she just, she couldn't get it. She like, the Lord don't kill people. She just couldn't get it. She, she, she was giving Satan all the praise. And that's what a lot of people do, man. They give Satan all the honor, glory, and praise when it comes down to the work of the Lord, man. Yeah, I could give you, uh, first Kings 22. Well, chapter 22, uh, verse 19, I think it is. We're going to start that. To give them, a, you know, a little bit more of um, example of that two and two. The Lord created everything, you know, one. He created things two, in twos, one against another. One against another, Salakia. Go ahead, I. King, first Kings, twenty-two, verse nineteen, and he said, "Hear thou, therefore, the word of Yahweh. I saw, I saw the Lord sit." I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right on his right right hand on his right hand and with some standing on his right hand and on his left hand and yeah. some standing on his left hand see so the Lord gave different ministering spirits to do certain things that's why we brought out the um he created spirits for vengeance there are spirits that the Lord created for, for vengeance then you have the ones that he sends out to give messages. You know, he has the ones that go out. 
you know, <laughs> and tell people what, you know, what was what, right? Maybe they thought that was the stop sign. But you just stop right in the middle of it. Anyway, but any, but, but let's, let's go on. Let's, now, now, now you have the, the spirits on the left and you have the spirits on the right hand, right? Now, check it out. Because the Christian church won't bring these scriptures out. Check it out. Now, go ahead, Ah. And the, and the Lord said, who shall pursue, pursue, persuade, persuade, Ahab. Yep. Who who's gonna persuade him, right? Go ahead, I. That he he may go up and fall at right. Ramoth Galliad. Ramoth Galliad. Yep. And one said on this on this on this matter, and another said on that matter. So the Lord is having a council with these angels. Like you know, who's gonna go and um, persuade um, Ahab? To basically get killed, the Lord is setting this nigga up to to get to get to, to, get, to get the business, man. Right? Go ahead, I. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord. There came forth the spirit, one of those spirits of vengeance, came before the Lord. Go ahead, I. And said, I will pursue him. I will persuade him. And he, he basically like I'll entice him, man. This spirit came to the Lord and said, I'll entice him. Go ahead, I. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? So the Lord is asking him, How are you going to do it? Now check out what this spirit says. Go ahead, I. Wherewith? I mean, and, and he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the, in the mouth of all his prophets. See? This, this spirit said he's going to go and be a lying spirit. In the mouth of those prophets. Matter of fact, the Lord said he he would he the Lord didn't actually sent lying prophets to the children of Israel just to test and see what they're gonna go with what he said. And then he would knock that prophet off. So this is the type of God that we're dealing with. Go ahead, I. And he said, Thou, thou shalt pursue. Yep, thou shalt persuade him. Persuade him, him and Prevail. So basically, he's going to be successful at prevail, um, uh, at persuading or enticing this guy. Also, go forth and do so. He said, "Go forth and do so." So now, once you go on through the story, you can see how he caught the business. Those prophets with the lion to him, because <laughs> he didn't want to hear the word of the Lord. He didn't want to hear the word of the Lord from the prophet, the main prophet. The prophet was telling him what was up. He was like, "Oh, you see this prophet? He never tells me anything good." He always goes against me because he was wicked as hell. But the Lord sent that spirit, the lie, that lying spirit, to, 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 to be a lying spirit amongst the prophets of, of that king, man, and knock this ass off, man. So, like I said again, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better get a healthy fear of the Lord, man, because the Lord is coming to kill people. He's not coming to play pity pat with your fucking kids, man. He's not coming to sit on the couch and play 2K with y'all asses, man. He's not coming to run a damn, uh, run a game of uh, basketball with you niggas on the court, man. Uh, you know, no, he's not, the Lord is not coming to do none of those things, man. Like I was telling the, I, I was reading in, uh, matter of fact, let's see, I'm trying to think what chapter I was reading in um, Revelation. I want to say it was maybe chapter five or six. I think it was six. Yeah, let's start from, um, let's get Revelation 6 and 15. Start from 15. And, and this is for you Christians that think that the Lord is coming back to play pity pack with you fuckers, man. It's like you for the language, man. The Lord is not coming back to play no games, man. He came as the lamb in the beginning, you know, extending, his, you know, that, that hand. He's letting you know the Father sent me to die for the sins of the nation of Israel or the elect of Israel, you know, but the whole nation, basically. And that door of grace and mercy is about to close, man. It's gonna be just like when when that door closed on on um on the boat with with with, with Noah, man. I hey, when those raindrops started to fall, I bet you know people was like, well, I, I I can't imagine how many was around the boat banging on that shit and screaming Noah, 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 screaming for his wife, screaming for the sons, cause they knew them. I can't even know. Boop, 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 boop. Please, please. And then, you know, as days went on, because that wasn't like a, it was just all of a sudden thing. 
because they didn't even experience rain before. So once that rain started coming out of the sky, they knew like, damn, this is what he was talking about. They didn't experience rain before. So just think about it. As the days is going on, can you imagine what the first day, second day, third day, everybody trying to climb up to something higher? They climbing up mountains and shit. Shit floating away. They got the baby on their shoulders, you know? And as time went on, that man, and, and swept their asses away, man. You had to imagine what kind of terror that was. The Lord is the king of terrors, man. And you best believe when those nukes, man, look, this so-called white man about to get down on you Negroes, man. Y'all better fucking wake up and repent, man. When the Lord let this man go and he gets out here and get busy like how the Lord going to let him get busy, y'all going to know that there's a power out here and that the prophets was out here and was giving you the truth, man. Go ahead, I. Revelation 6, verse 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the, the dens and in the rocks of the mountain. Why were they hiding themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountain? Go ahead, I. And said to, to the mountain and rocks, fall on us <coughs> and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Woo! And from the wrath of, of the Lamb. And from the wrath of the Lamb. That's what they're trying to get away from. And, and it's going to come to a point where people are going to see this, man. These, hey, the, the scripture said that the, the Lord's word will not return to him void, man. All these prophecies that, that's written in the book of this, of, of this, this Bible, they're going to come to pass, man. And they're going to catch niggas off guard. What's going on now? Uh, All right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's get that last um, verse. Right? Verse seventeen. Verse seventeen. For the great day of His wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? The great wrath is who gonna be able to stand in that day? Nobody. You see what I'm saying? Nobody. You see people just riding on by, people walking on by, people doing their thing. Now, brother just uh, tried to try to, uh, you know, introduce the brother to the, to the scriptures. What did he say? I'm okay. I'm okay. But guess what? <laughs> Let, let's start back. Let's start from the, uh, that verse 15 again. Now, let's get that one more time. And the kings of the earth. The kings of the earth. So, you know, they're top. They're, they're, they're the top. They're going to be on the top. So, you know, the kings, they most definitely got a lot more protection than your average citizen would have. But check it out. Go ahead, I. And the great men. The great men. They got a better chance than you regular civilians, right? And the rich men. The rich men, you know, of course, they're the ones with the bunkers. I just done a post. I think it was yesterday. And they got a bunker, bro, that, that, that that's like a, um, you know, like a trailer that you can hitch to the back of your ride. That bunker was cold, too, bro. A bunker, bro, it, it had bullet, it was bulletproof, the bulletproof tires. And it, the inside had... You know, the, you know, it was it, it was a nice size. You know, it was just like a trailer, though. You know, almost like one of them U-Hauls that you rent on the back of your joint, bro. But man, they showed the inside. Man, that shit was bulletproof. It had all the amenities in it. It had a drone, um, the hookup where you can uh, basically uh, uh, drones would sprout up that shit, but bro, cold. So the rich people, they got stuff like this. They're in their bunk. They got shit, man. Bro, I've been seeing that stuff. See. And you and see Jake not paying attention. They just looking at that like, oh well, that's you know that's just, that's some luxury. Remember back in the days when they used to have that show, the lifestyle of the rich and famous. Man, you used to be looking at that shit like, God damn, that's cold. But don't never, don't never feel that's what the man high is showing. Even though they call themselves rich and high. My, my, my life is, is beyond this. Yep. So but you but yeah, yeah. You had your faith in me, and I was glad you. And I would, I would, I would keep you safe from the devil. He's the bunker. <laughs> hey, the Lord is our bunker, man. We don't need no damn bunker. All, all that that they got don't mean nothing because we got the most high. You how about send you outside? That's right, I. That's we right. We got, we got, we got. He's our bunker. Ain't nothing else can protect you better than that. Period. Nothing at all. And if you're thinking on anything that's protecting you other than that, it's a damn idol, man. And he's going to knock your ass off of that, too. Come but go on. ahead, I. Let's get the rest of these people. So you got the kings, you got the mighty men, you got the uh, the rich. And, and every bond man and every man, free man. So that, uh, that every damn slave 
And every person that's walking around out here that's not a slave, so to speak, because we are slaves, because we are captives in, 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 you know, in, in, in these kingdoms, you know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about as far as you're able to at least move about. Go ahead, huh? Hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. They hid themselves in the dens of the rocks and in the mountains, man. And you know, um, what's that, uh, that spot Esau got in the mountains, man, where, uh, I think it's a big ass spot where the, where the president can go. It's like a dug in city underneath this big ass mountain, wherever it's at. You know, where just in case it all shit hits the fans. They, 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 see the so called white man, it's not just these ones that's got their individual bunkers. These governments have places that they're gonna go into as far as like their, you know, presidents and prime ministers. And it just said the kings, you know what I'm saying? So they got places that they're, and they ain't gonna give a shit about their citizens. They're not going to give a shit about you free and bond, man. They're going to be out. They already got all the seed stock so they can replenish the earth. You know, they're they doing all this shit in vain, man. Water stock, water infiltration systems, you know. They out here, they got all the genes. Remember they were talking about fucking sending, uh, what they call it, Noah's Ark. They was going to... Uh, some damn scientists talking about some damn Noah's Ark on the moon. So basically, they was gonna go try and go to the moon and build like this big ass ball with all the genes of all the humans, animals, and seeds, and all this other shit, just in case something happens. So there is these people know something about to happen. It's these regular Jake and regular so-called white people. They don't know what's going on, man. And the scripture says that our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. Go ahead, I. And, and, and said to the, the mountains, and rocks, fall on us, Ooh. and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of, of the Lamb. And from the wrath of the Lamb, man. The Lord is not coming to play no game. Get that last one again. Ah. For the great day of, of his, his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? See? Who will be able to stand, man, in that day? Who's gonna be able to stand? And these proud ass so-called white people, they actually think that they're gonna be able to stand. They think that. And the Lord has really risen them up just like he raised up Pharaoh, especially these Americas, man. He has raised them up for that very reason, to show his power. That's why he raised up Pharaoh. Matter of fact, what's that, it's in Romans 9. Go to Romans 9. That's in, that's in Romans 9, man. That's the reason why he raised up Pharaoh. You see? Because the Lord could have easily. The Lord was dealing with Pharaoh's heart. Matter of fact, what's that? Um, let me get a. Uh, the Proverbs 21, I think it is. What it talks about. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. See? And see, you got people running around out here talking about free will and shit. These, ki these kings, prime ministers, and presidents, and these people that, hey, the average McDonald's um, manager don't have, you know, the Lord is in control of his damn con decisions and thoughts, man. You know? But let's get uh, Romans 9. You there, I? Yep. You at that part, or, uh, where is this? Uh, I think it's maybe around. Uh, what verse is that? Oh. We're looking for Pharaoh. Where he's talking about Pharaoh. He raised Pharaoh up. Oh, yeah. Uh, verse um, 17. Verse 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for, for this same purpose. See, even for this same purpose. That I raised thee up. This is why the Lord raised up Pharaoh and gave him the power that basically America has today. Go ahead, I. That I might show my power See? in thee. <laughs> the Lord is showing his power. He's going to show his power in America. Go ahead, I. And that my name might be. Declare throughout all 
the earth. That his name is going to be declared throughout all the earth. And when America goes down, everybody going to know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Sai done it, man. Everybody. That's when motherfuckers going to really, every knee shall bow. Go ahead, I'll get the next verse too. Therefore, have, have he mercy on who he will have mercy on. So the Lord will have mercy on who he wants to have mercy on. All that Christianity shit about he loves everybody. Go ahead, I. And who he will he harden. See? And who he will he harden it. So he'll hard, he can harden. But what you think he's, he's hardening the hearts of these goddamn Americans, man? He's gonna do America just like he done Egypt, man. And, and we know what happened with a Pharaoh tried to chase down the Israelites. Ran off into that Red Sea and got and caught that business, man. And then we ain't gonna even talk about the plagues. And what did the Lord tell Moses? He, he's told Moses, I'm gonna keep hardening his heart. He's not gonna, I'm gonna harden his heart so he don't let the children of Israel go. The Lord could have just, man, the Lord could have just struck that nigga down, man, with some lightning or something, man. And, 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 and so, you know, he could have knocked him off in so many ways. He could have just killed that nigga, you know, or, from a Christianity standpoint, where they say the Lord loves everybody, he could have just said, Moses, when you go into Egypt, let Pharaoh know that I want all y'all to get together and praise me. But what did he do? He brought the chief, sent them in there to get the children of Israel out. And that's what's going on in these last days. So you Christians with that white Jesus crap, talking about the Lord loves everybody, and he's coming to save everybody, that's a complete damn lie, man. That is not scriptural. The so-called white man that tore the damn earth up, now one gonna come back and, 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 and get it back together? Get the hell out of here, man. But as you can see, hey, the Lord is not who these Christians have been telling us the, the Lord is, man. They're not giving you the true attributes of our Lord, man. The scriptures talk about the Lord is terrible, man. Matter of fact, let's see. To the children of men, I think it is. Yeah, look, let's get Psalm 66 and 5. It's like I said again, if the Lord loved everybody, he wouldn't have killed the damn Egyptians and their firstborn children and stuff, man. Hey, no. Yeah, hey, we we we, just, hey, we, we, trail, we you know today we're bringing out the true attributes of the Lord, man. Because the Christian church with that white Jesus crap, they tell everybody that the Lord loves everybody. The Lord don't love everybody. That's not in the Bible. No, it's not. Go ahead, I. Psalm six six verse five. Come and see the works of Yahweh. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. See that? It says the Lord is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. We just brought out that he kills and he makes a lie. Matter of fact, let's get Amos 3 and 6. Satan is not running around out here doing what he wants to do. Satan is an employee of the Lord, man. The Lord gives him his orders. He wants somebody to kill. Go kill. I want him killed like this. And Satan or, and or those spirits of vengeance, they go forth and they do what the Lord said to do. Three and six. Yeah, I, yeah. Wait, wait. Amos three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? See that? Should there be evil in a city and the Lord didn't do it? So when you see an earthquake, a flood, a hurricane, and he whips through and he whips big mama out of the house, that's the Lord, man. You see what I'm saying? So white Jesus Christianity is a huge lie, and that's the worst thing that ever happened to our people, is that we believe in the very people that has destroyed us like how we've been destroyed, man. The Lord is only coming for the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's not coming to save no so-called white people, man. These people have destroyed the earth. If these people continue to rule, man, for another 20 years, man, nothing will survive. 
Hey, hey, the world is at the brink of, of, of nuclear destruction right now because of this man. World War Three is World War Three is in, in in motion, man. They were just at the G7 um um summit yesterday, and Biden over there talking about training these damn Ukrainians to fly those F-16 fighter jets. What do you think that's gonna cause? That's an act of war towards Russia, man. You already supplying them with with with, with, with shit already, and then you're gonna that fighter jet, man. Come on, man. That F-16, man, ain't no joke. Go ahead, I keep saying something out. Yeah, I'm like you said, you're right, you're right. I heard that too. I might have heard it on your paper. I know I heard it. Yeah, yeah, they was, um, and, and, <laughs> hey, and, and matter of fact, I pulled up some pictures too to show these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that it wasn't nothing but, but crackers, man, that was over there. We're no, we're no, no Jake there representing you. We're no Jake there talking about, you know, what are we going to, you know, how can we help the, 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 the so-called blacks? Hispanics and Native Americans? Come on, man. These last days, hey, these last days are upon us. We're in the thick of it right now, man. All the things that the Lord was talking about is happening. Matter of fact, let's go on to Matthew 24, huh? We bring this out all the time. By the spirit, man. You feel like I'm going. 24, verse, let's start at verse 3. And then we can pretty much about end out. We're about there. But, um, you know, hey, we just wanted to just show the true attributes of our Lord, man. The Lord is coming to kill people. He's not coming to play pity pat with your damn kids. All that old, he loves everything. He loves everybody. You can just be a damn demon all week long and go to church and throw a couple of dollars into the pot. Y'all going to see, man. Y'all better come up out of them Christian churches worshiping the, um, that white Jesus idol, man. Go ahead, I. Matthew 24, 24 verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, <coughs> the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be? And what shall be the sign the, what shall be the sign of thy coming? See? So the disciples is asking, what's gonna be the sign of your coming, Lord? Let's see what the Lord told the disciples. Go ahead, Ock. End of the end of the world. What's going to be happening in the end of the world? Go ahead, Ock. And Yahweh shall answer and say it unto them. Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. That's a commandment. Because it's going to be a, it's a lot of false teachers out here, a lot of false prophets, telling our people that the, the MOTB or that mark of the beauty and the beast, because these so-called white people want to put a goddamn implant in your ass. So they can control you. They want to PlayStation 5 your ass, man. Go ahead, huh? For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So many going to come in the Lord's name and deceive. That's already happening. Go ahead, huh? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What are we just talking about? What do you think that was the main, the main topic at that G7? Because um, the president of um, Ukraine, he, he was over there begging for more shit. America done gave his people, man, I don't know how many billions of dollars, bro, so far. And it's all on the backs of your, or, or, or your taxpayers' dollar, man. Us so-called black people, we, none of our tax money should be going towards no fucking crackers in Ukraine fighting, man. Our money should be staying in our communities. But they'll tax the shit out of you every week on your check and send your money to some damn people in Ukraine, man. And those people hate Negroes. They hate niggas, man. Go ahead, huh? See that ye be not troubled. And we're not troubled by it, man. Because we're waiting on it to happen. We pray for the destruction of America, man. Go ahead, huh? For all these things must come to pass. These things must come to pass. And they're coming to pass right now. Go ahead, huh? But the end is not yet. The end is not yet, though. We got some more things to go through. Cause you, hey, but it's playing out, though. World War Three, the one of the main prophecies. World War Three is playing out. That third world, and, and them trying to put that damn chip in your ass is playing out with this CBDC, with this new digital currency. Cause they're about to phase that dollar out. The dollar is already losing. So all you Jake with stacks under your damn bed, mattress with Nike boxes full of damn money, that shit is about to become obsolete soon. 
Go ahead, you I'm... ain't gonna be able to take a dollar. Nowhere and get it changed for nothing. Nothing. It's gonna be coming in. It ain't gonna be worth toilet paper, man. Go ahead, I. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. Yep. And kingdom against kingdom. And we seeing that on a regular basis. Hell, America is damn near at civil war in itself. You see those so-called white boys that was up, they've been traveling from state to state. So they got running around and they got this like it was 150 of them, got the mask on. They got the flag upside down, you know, with this big ass banner talking about basically taking America back. You know, and they got shields and shit. I don't know if you've seen that. They marching all through these cities in America, man. So these so-called white people, they ready to get loose while you Negroes are in the neighborhoods. Bullshit, man. Go ahead, I. And there shall be famines. Famines? And pestilence. And pestilence. They gonna bring a new disease back for your ass. You better believe that. You think COV-19 was something? Go ahead, I. And earthquakes and diverse places. I just done the lesson. They all made it a 7.7. Earthquake out here in the Pacific Ocean and shit, man. They're not telling you about it. I, I went to the, earth, the earthquake app yesterday, right? It was earthquakes in Japan. It was a damn earthquake in Russia. It was it was like five of them in California just yesterday. But they don't be talking about this stuff, man. These are part of the prophecies. Those earthquakes, man. Go ahead, huh? All these are the beginnings of sorrow. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Matter of fact, jump to verse 12, too. Because, hey, that's going on, too. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abide, the love of many shall wax cold. Hey, iniquity is going, sin is so crazy out here. People don't have no affection towards each other no more, man. Parents killing their kids, kids killing their parents. You know, Jake out here just, you know what I'm saying, killing each other for just nothing. That's like that gas station shit with the guy, you know, and they, they matter of fact, they um, arrested him on that, that, um, that one damn instrument like that locked the door in the gas station when them guys couldn't get out. They just arrested his ass for involuntary. They should have been, they should have arrested his ass day one. How the hell are you locking people in a store, man? Been over $4 worth of shit. You see what I'm saying? But that Jake didn't have no problems shooting his own people. He didn't shoot the damn Ishmael like. He didn't have no problems shooting his own people, man. Over a $4 transaction, bro. That's crazy as hell. That's because iniquity shall abound, man. There's so much sin going on out here. People don't give a shit about their family, man. They're doing the most heinous things to these children. And we ain't gonna talk about the so-called white man boy with this um uh what they got the post. It was in the it was in the Jerusalem Post, man. With um they they uh talking about um those small hats is protecting pedophiles. You see what I'm saying? Doing that. I know, but, but, but what they can do is if they if they you know go um, commit pedophilia here in America, they can mess with somebody's kids. All they got to do is just get them go to the airport, and they can go back to Jerusalem, and they won't even extradite them, bro. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh yeah, man. Look, they, all the wickedness, man. Well, let's go ahead and close out with our close out scriptures. I got Romans 13 and 11. Hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Y'all better wake up out here. Yep, ready now, bro. Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the, the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep, man. But now is all salvation nearer than when we believe. And, and, and we say it all the time, man. If this was 2,000 years ago that was being read, then how close you think we are now when we're actually seeing this shit play out, man? And we got to thank you, about Shimmy Shai, too, man, for raising up, for waking us up, man. Because a lot of people just not going to get this until the, the Lord sends that nuclear fire towards this place. Go ahead, I. The night is far spent. The day is at end. Fuck. Now it's spent, the hands at hand. Yup. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. You better cast off them damn sins, man. You better repent to the Father Yahweh Bashimi I was shy, man. And come out of this wickedness out here, man. Go ahead, huh? And let us put on the armor of light. And how do you do that? First off, you have to know the true name of the Father Yahweh. 
which means he exists or the existing one. The true name of his son is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer of Paleo Hebrew. You have to know those names first off, man. And then you got camps out here that won't even teach the name, bro. I see this nigga, this, this, this Bishop Nate, man, he was, um, I don't know if you know this, um, the, the um, Africa Diaspora channel. I think that the guy's name is, um, something Scott. I think he, he got this channel, though. He know he's a Hebrew Israelite, but he be trying to lump all us up together with some African shit. But he had Bishop Nate on there interviewing him. Man, he, he was like, yeah, and, 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 you know, he said it so quick, and he said it with such disgust. He had the name of the Lord as Yahweh or Yeshua. He did not want to say the name of the Lord, bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, another camp went up against him. It was like, why y'all want to say the true name? Y'all keep using Jesus. You know, I know that's that like most Jesus. high and God blessed crap, man. Yeah, I... This nigga riding in on the past over on a big ass horse, man. Like, come on, bro. Y'all better get out them camps, man. Now, a lot of those camps got some of the elect in them, I believe. I'm like the other apostle to heart, man. All these camps that's going on, we believe that there are some pickings in there, man, that's just gonna, and the Lord gonna get them out of there if they're part of the elect. You see what I'm saying? He gonna get them out of there. Cause it's, a, it's crazy about the best thing that you can really learn from them is that you're a Hebrew Israelite. Other than that, you gotta just kinda just breeze on away from them, man. You're, 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 no, nobody's getting no real learning. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Hey, again, the true name of the Father is Yahweh, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And, and you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Then you come into these scriptures, and you start to see what the do's and don'ts are. You start to see what the Lord said to do and what not to do, and you try your hardest to keep the commandments, man. Now, we're not saved by the commandments, but he did say, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love the Lord, you're really going to try and be pleasing to him, man. You ain't going to just be out here, oh, I'm just going whatever. I'm just gonna keep on living like whatever. You might as well stay um with TD Jason though. Straight up. So with that, we you know say it again. Yeah, man. So with that, we gonna end out by saying, Oh hello, yeah, hello, Bahashim, yeah, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors again to our apostles and elders and great millstone, rule well. Left out of spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth, and just wanna say again, the water to our Akim and Aqwap. That's out here sincerely keeping the walls, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. With that, Shalom. Shalom. Where we at?